In this video, I'm going to show you one of the hidden gems of the Chinese tech tree. This tank is insanely fun, it received a secret buff that no one knows about and I will show you some super close clutch scenarios with full commentary which will 100% make you a better player after watching this video. Let's go! People watching my live stream could not believe their eyes when they saw the comeback we managed to pull off in this game. We are playing Siegfried line and if you are playing a medium tank you should always come to this position because you can get some really nice early game damage on the field. Is, is he gonna do it? Oh, what the... Oh, my... <laughs> okay, PTA. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, we planted a potato. Oh, what? Dude, holy... Actually, almost hit. Yo, that guy needs to die. Is he gonna run all the way? As you can see, the WZ120 has huge alpha, really good DPM, but these factors are being balanced by their slow velocity, so you really need to lead quite a lot when shooting at range. The biggest strength of this tank comes from the fact that it can outside scrape literally any tier 8 or 9 heavy. You have really good pen on both shells, and if you're angling properly, they really have no chance against you. Is he gonna stay there? I noticed they have a lot of guys speaking on the streets on the left side, so I make my way there. <laughs> SMV. What happened, dude? Where's the OP turret armor now? Oof. Lucky shot. Oh, he's back, chat. I want some more. <laughs> and here comes the truly interesting part. The score is 4 8. We have lost control of the city and the open field. And I will show you now how to come back from situations like this. The best position to defend is here. It gives you all the angles you need, and if you play it right, you should not be spotted many times. If so low HP tanks, man, it's crazy. I don't know who's spotting me though, I think it's this guy. Oh yeah. Luckily, the object 777 is very smart and it distracts the MXM4, making him turn his turret every single time he peeks. throwing this. I see that our light tank is making a very aggressive play on the open field and these guys are obviously going to peek him so I make my way towards the left side here and try to help him a little bit by killing those guys. Hello? Babe, I found a really intriguing new game but I can't get the tiger tank. Can you help me? Sure, let me show you how. You are lying in bed or riding the subway and got nothing to keep you entertained? You wish you could play a war game wherever you are and whenever you want? Well, today's your lucky day. Warpath is a free-to-play MMO real-time strategy game available for you to download right now on your phone. Now, let's get our hands on a tiger thing by drawing some cards. And... There we go. Now that we got the tiger, we can start rolling through our enemies. The sniper gameplay is so sick, you have to smoothly aim and shoot. And there are some awesome animations playing before you'd hit your target. Just look. We're talking about simulated battle scenarios in all kinds of different locations with FPS targets allowing you to gain an advantage on the battlefield. You have a diverse array of guns and scopes you can choose from, which are also suitable for different targets. This game will give you the chance for really simple and also smooth firing operations. It's one of the best RTS games where thinking ahead will guarantee you victories. You have no annoying RNG, it doesn't matter if your team picks two RTs in a 7v7 onslaught game, even with low combat power you can win using smart strategies and arm matching tactics. You can micromanage all your troops, explore the huge map and collect war materials for the development of combat power. And you don't have to play alone, you can join an alliance. Join your friends and like-minded people for more victories. Alliance members can help each other, get rewards for various game resources and even paid items. And the best part, you can borrow the armies of your allies to help you fight. But that's not the only advantage you get from joining an alliance. The alliance technology and map buildings occupied by the alliance can provide each member with bonuses in combat, scientific research and gathering capabilities. And now that I got you interested, download the game now using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Thank you Warpath for sponsoring the video. After killing the IS-3, I look at the T-49 to see if I can shoot him, but I cannot. But the Shkoda gets spotted and... I see that the triple stun is pushing from the right side, so I just go behind the Projecto to be able to kill him. And afterwards, we just need to find the T-49 and the enemy RT. Where is he? Come on, man. He was running around here like...
nice. Almost had a pulse, man. After Wargaming has completely butchered the middle on this map, there is nowhere else to go but to the heavy flank. But first, let's shoot this guy in the mid. Well, dollar ninety-eight had a plan. It just didn't work out, man. I'm not even gonna attempt peak here, boys. Not with this minus three gun depression, dude. Oh yeah, the only thing that keeps this tank from becoming completely broken is the fact that it only has minus three degrees of gun depression, and you really need to use the terrain to your advantage to be able to shoot above ridge lines. So as mentioned before, there's not much you can do on this map besides just side scrape here behind your allies and try to hit the cupolas of the enemy tanks. Come on, man. There was like one percent chance to hit that. Everywhere on his turret. Anywhere on his turret. Yes. Oh god, oh god, please don't snap me. After the VZ dies, now we can try to push towards the corner to pick up some more damage on those heavy tanks. Man, uh, pff, JP. You, s <laughs> you scared me. Oh, we need to farm the type chat. Huh? Oh, there's a phase up top, boys. How the f does a phase make it up top, dude? You wanna trade? I got, I got higher alpha than you, bro. Yeah, big trade, man. <laughs> we lost a zero line. Oh god. Leo's gonna pick this for sure. You don't pendle, you don't pendle. Ha! Ah. What? Surely, mate! Oh, now, man, there's two of you. Since the Grille fired, it gives me an opportunity to flank him and try to get some more late game damage to be able to save this game. Oh, very, very nice of you to let me go behind you. Oh, very nice of you, Gorilla. Thank you. You are really helpful, dude. You know that? Oh. Hello. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was nice meeting you, Gorilla. Oh, man. I, I auto-aimed. My reservatical was still pointing there. Okay, what do we do here, man? Encounter Himmelsdorf. Do I wanna go the 8 line or do I wanna go? Nah, I wanna go up, man. But there's so many heavies, bro. Gazillion tier 8 heavies, man. 24,000 HP in a tier 8 battle. At the start of the battle, when you're top tier, looking at the enemy's composition is absolutely vital. If they have a lot of heavies, you almost all the time wanna put yourself into a position where all that HP is easily accessible. In this case, however, the 8 line on Himmelsdorf does not provide enough space for me to go hull down, so I just went hill. If you guys want me to create a tutorial for this kind of stuff, let's hit 4,000 likes on this video. There's the KPZ. Should I, do I want to go for the KPZ? Oh hell yeah, man. There's, there's also no already. I just go for him insta. He doesn't commit, man. I think I'm not gonna pick this, man. This is this is. They have a much better position. I feel like they kind of overbuffed that side uh, when they changed this map. Stronger that position. Is he gonna do that again? Bad choice, Tiger too. I love the alpha of this. Oh my god, that is so good. Wow, okay. Another crazy fact about this is that it has 3.4 thousand DPM, which basically allows you to outreload any kind of tier 8 or tier 9 heavy. Ah, I love this thing. It's so good. Look at that alpha, man. It's crazy. You should try this tank if you haven't yet, man. It's insane, dude. It's literally the best counter heavy in the whole game. Like, the 1 to 1 is the best counter heavy at tier 10. This is probably the best counter heavy at tier 9. Oh, reflexes on 0, dude. Oh, f Guys, you have full HP in the concept, man. Just go in, bro. What are you waiting for? Everybody took shots, man, for this. Only you didn't. <laughs> the gun depression, dude. Okay, um, now we have to go behind them, I think. Piper. 
4k damage so far. There's a lot of damage here on the one line. There's an unspotted Löwe, for example. Come on, man! Why? Oh, what? Oh, uh oh! Now this is a map where we need an impression to the max. And indeed, maps like this are truly painful for this tank, but you can still try to make it work by using the terrain, like I do in this video. This position works pretty well for a lot of tanks with turret armor, but I get a little greedy and I quickly get punished for it. I commend you for your deeds. Jet is still there. Oh, easy. Oh, bug shot. Guys, we're getting a double cap by a Yak Pants and a Knee Honda. I think it would be kind of smart to uh, relocate soon. Hey, yo. Guys, we need to decap this, bro. I'm gonna have to move. I have to move, guys. Guys, we need to flank. To be kept the uh, Panzer, guys. So I kept on moving all the way until I found an angle to be able to shoot the Honda. You were never in that, man. Unfortunately, it seems like we are losing this game, so I try to get to the K-Line units to be able to provide support on the middle. Why is Ugla yellowing there, guys? Uga, ga, ga, uga, jaga, uga, 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 jaga, boom. 476. Oh, look. <laughs> look what the guy said. Our man at the mountain through. Okay, I'm sorry, man. My English also sucks, Chad, but that was funny still. Like a medieval Giga Chad, man. Some captain of a, of a fort. No more? I can't push this guy. There's too much firepower mobility. And I'm a one shot. Damn, bro, that's not good. He didn't spot me. This guy's like a guard dog, man. He's just... Oh, he's in the cap. So, oh. Oh, shit. Shocker 2 didn't even deal with that guy at all. I oh, can't cap this, bro. I, I I wanted to make him shoot so he misses, but this, this is not winnable, dude. They're just capping the base. Do I want to play here or do I want to play there? Let's play here first. There's no reason to play there when you can play here, really. Oh, maybe there is, actually. Because I have no gun depression. Now these guys are going to be mad. Oh my god, my medium tank sticks are position, guys. Let's push him out here. Ooh. Bug trades, man. <laughs> Can you, like, not? Can you like not push me out? Why did you go down there? You have gun depression there. I tried. I'm sorry. Life is not fair. Mr. Onslaught is dead. Oh, there's one more Onslaught gamer. You're right, dude. Jeez. Hmm. Oh. Uh huh. I see that our e is trying to get the tortoise and the cobra in the corner, so I decide to help him. Did I just pat him in the side? Actually, you know what? I should go for the Scorp G and the... his friend here.
The scorpion got away, but I still have to kill him to be able to open up this side of the map, so I go around. Trying to kill me? Yo, bro, this is kind of messed up. I also have a chariot here unspotted. At this point, I thought they were just over push and kill our guys, so my best bet was to just sit in the corner and provide sniping cover for my team. We didn't find any of them, so we eventually started pushing deeper. Then I got spotted right here, and I instantly knew where one of them was hiding. He has to be in there then. You're dead, bro. The enemy charioteer had a kill, he was camping for the whole battle, but we still didn't manage to spot him until the very end. Very weird. This battle started like an ordinary to junkie game, but the ending was absolutely phenomenal. First, I come to this position to aim down the south to see if my lightning will spot something, but I can also shoot the middle here. Oh my god, bro, he actually is fast enough to do that. I think I have to go hell down and try to trade with this gentleman Oof. renegade Ooh. we just have to watch out oh he got mad he got mad now boys look he's gonna lay all over one shot and then he's dead I'm gonna get shot in the ass now, so I gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, well. That gentleman is a problem that he's proxying me. Project died as well. He also had a TS5 there. I'm just I'm just proxied by this guy, so I cannot play there. Because then I'll get shot by the, in the ass by those people. Ooh. Oh, okay. He's very unlucky. Oh, well, he's a one shot, kind of. So. I fire a couple of rounds in order to blind him up, but I didn't get lucky. I don't think he's gonna pick, though. Do I risk it? No way, bro. Okay. This TRV is. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I don't look. Flip me now, dude. So easy. But now I'm Amorect, of course. I need to spot the scorpion if it crosses. Nice. The STRV is completely in the open, so I can put one shot into him. Oh. I made a mistake. I didn't realize that they pushed, he pushed me. How is the waffle not killing this guy? He's literally in the open. Thank you. Since I saw where the enemy already shooting from, I exactly know where he is. In this clip, I'm going to show you a sick game where we get 8,000 combined damage in less than 5 minutes. Enjoy! Oh.
Can you get the even 90? That would be very helpful. Okay. I'm gonna wait for the spot to wear off. I'm gonna push and clear this out here. How did the Scorpion hit that? Yo, boys. Since I saw I had mad support on the AB line and the middle, I just decided to push in here and spot all those guys. For now, it worked great. What a giga chad. <laughs> oh! That is a big L. Um, I'm gonna go for the, the heavies here. Nice. Oh wow. Doing early game spots was really really nice there. Maybe shoot this uh, Udes. Nice, safety. Oh wait, I can actually see him. Uh, game was over in 4 minutes. <laughs> So this game was pretty uneventful, our 1-2-line collapsed really fast and I had to fall back into a safer position. Well, things started to get interesting. Oh yeah, I mean, they are clearing out the 1-2-line because of the uh, bitch it. I don't think any of them on the one 2 will be spotted. Oh yeah, nah, there's no way. I'm just gonna camp here. We get lucky if we can get 2k damage here. This guy is pushing. <laughs> okay. Four eight seven. That's a pretty base roll. Once again, here's the bed shit. Actually, kill him for that, no? And if they didn't have this double stupid RT, this would be easy. Bro, don't die like this. Where is he? Did it run? Hmm. Wow, I think he oh, wow. And this guy is capping, man. Ah, oh, that is not cool. I can't, I'm too slow, dude. Imagine capping in a 1v6 situation, bro. 